Yeah, so my name is Alard Buise and I'm the CTO of Axonic, which is uh, the company backing the, uh, the Axon framework as well as some other uh, products that we are building uh, to, uh, uh, to help improve our, uh, the, the ecosystem of, uh, of software. Yeah, so the main problem that we are uh, addressing is the basically the desire of many of the uh, developers, many developers, to, to just implement microservices. And, and using the tools and techniques that are out there, many of these projects are already bound to fail before they ha even started, right? They, they result in a distributed big ball of mud, or worse. And um, we, we provide tools that uh, the developers can use to, um, um, to, to implement domain-driven design uh, concepts like CQRS and event sourcing optionally as well. And we help them uh, implement those using uh, or with our Axon framework, which is an open source framework for, for the JVM. And that really gives them the tools and the guidelines that they, they typically need to, uh, to implement this, uh, this correctly. And then we, we really stimulate this, uh, this evolutionary approach to microservices where we say, well, microservices are really hard. Right? And there's a lot of aspects that are really difficult about them, not only technical, but also other, uh, other aspects, um, organizational aspects. What's the right thing to build? And what, what, what do you combine in one module? What do you, uh, what are, where's the separation of all these microservices? Uh, and we, we provide the means and the abstractions to, to say, well, start with a monolith first. Try to learn about the domain that you are working in and then find the way to evolve that into uh, to a microservices architecture. And that is typically, you know, that's the, that's the hard part of our uh, of our industry, and that's why we we're not solving the problems, but we're providing tools that allow developers to solve it for for their specific scenario. The way the the framework originated was it was actually never it, it was never meant to be a solution to the big microservices problem. It, it started as an experiment, and um, I guess it got a bit out of control. Um, and the the um, the origin is in the fact that I um, in my in my previous career I worked for uh, for Trifork, and I uh, I was involved in a lot of projects, and and I noticed that all of the projects they started really nice and the code base was nice and clean, but as the the application grew or as the as time progressed the um, domain model essentially or the application became more complex than it needed to be in my uh, in my opinion so i started investigating different ways of organizing applications not only in in terms of architectural styles but also in, in domain driven design related uh, concepts and i came across this concept of distributed domain driven design which is now called cqrs and um, I started experimenting with that and I noticed that there's a lot of boilerplate code that you need to write to make it work, especially for event sourcing. There's a lot of stupid mistakes and I've made many stupid mistakes. And I thought, well, if, if I have to make these mistakes to, to learn about uh, CQRS and event sourcing and if I have to write all this boilerplate code, everybody has to do that. So I just started to publish that code somewhere and, uh, well, if you publish it, you have to give it a name. So if you think of a name and it was not Axon Framework in the beginning, the, um, and, and I was hoping for people to pick it up and give me feedback about what I was doing right and what I was doing wrong. But instead, I got a, uh, an email from a company in France saying, hey, we're using your framework in production. And I was like, what? I, that's not a framework and you definitely do not want to use this in production. Um, and uh, so I asked, you know, what, what, kind of, uh, what kind of application is this for? And they said, well, it's, a, um, it's an application used to track tools used in dental surgery. So that was pretty scary and uh, well at that point I thought well if they can use it in production for that reason I might as well use it uh, in, in some of my projects in myself and um, as, as the, the framework evolved and other people started using it more we noticed that it, it, bring, uh, it gives a lot of benefits in the, uh, in the microservices area as well. So it was never intended to be a solution for evolutionary microservices but that's how it's being used and it's, it's also a very good excuse ultimately to not to have to build microservices. So we've, uh, we've stopped many uh, uh, projects from actually evolving to microservices and they're now happily in the monolithic state. So 
So in the, the coming years with, with Axon, we're, uh, well, you'll see is more um, um, uh, conversion of the, the Axon framework as well as some of the, the products that we've built around it. Um, so uh, up, up to a few months ago, we had Axon DB and Hub, especially for event sourcing and messaging. We've, we've merged those into Axon Server and we have open sourced the core of Axon Server into the framework. So we're looking at more of that uh, easier packaging to make this evolution uh, a lot easier. And, and it's, very, it's a very open uh, uh, component, so it's very easy to integrate that with uh, existing messaging. We're not trying to, to defeat or to replace uh, RabbitMQ or, or Kafka or whatsoever. They all have their, their, their strength and we want to play into those strengths and make sure that you can build applications. So our goal is really to make that easier and that's what we are, we'll be working on in the, in the future as well. Uh, we're uh, working on a SaaS platform where you can just, you don't even have to install any server components anymore, you just uh, configure them. Um, eventually our, our big dream is also to go into serverless where you say, well here's an aggregate, run it. I don't care how many instances of, of machines that need to be running. If there's a command and it, it targets an a, a specific component, make sure there's a component running somewhere for me that can handle that. And the same for event processing, and uh, so that's that's where we're going in the uh, in the future, and uh, yeah, we'll see uh, how far we get, how soon. <laughs>